Hi, so I've created these assemblies and I want to copy these down. So what you do first is you're going to number these. So select these both. So I have these two assemblies which I mirrored through the center of this column. They sh should be identical once they're symmetrical. So let's number them and see. So let's number them. And you can see that they're numbered P1. And it's like, oh, these are beams. I wanted these to be numbered B1. So the problem we have here is that the plates are bigger than heavier than the beams, most likely. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the plate, go back to the home tab and click on this one for the weight center of gravity. And we can see the plate is 61 pounds. Click on the beam, do the same thing. And it's 57 pounds. So there's numerous ways to check the weight. That's just a quick way of doing it. So if we go to the output tab and click on this icon here, which is mark main part of assembly, click on one of the smaller parts of the assembly. And you can see the blue, the one that has the different marking of blue is the main part. So if I want to change that, what I'll do is click on this icon over here, which is create being part of assembly. And then I want to click on the beam. It, it'll tell you down here. Just follow what this tells you. And now that is now the main part of the assembly. So now I can select these two assemblies again. Now they're both highlighted. And now we're going to number again. And that number, one of them has changed to B. Oh, problem is I never changed the other one. So I have to come back and change this other one also, sorry. So it should still work okay, otherwise I can back out of it. Now select them again and number again. And I'll update them to two B1s. All right, so there are B1s. That's what I want. That's good. All right. Hope that helps. Take care.